Hi, it's Graham here at Crash John. And today I'm going to take you through some sign-in issues that you might experience on your Microsoft Teams room or MTR. Here I have my Crestron Flex. I've inputted my credentials into the device. What I can see now is it couldn't sign into Teams and I don't know why. Did the Adabox experience, put in my details and it rebooted. And hey, it all should work. But it's not. I don't see calendar. I don't have new meeting. I don't have dial pad. So what can the problem be? A very simple thing to check to make sure the account is ready for a Microsoft Teams room is that we need to go to the desktop side of things. I go to more and I go into my settings. Then this will then take me to the uh, options and I can then go to the Windows desktop. So I can just sign in here. And because I have actually domain joined this on Azure Active Directory, I have to put in the dot backslash to use a local account, for example. So now I just want to head into the Windows settings and this will take me to the desktop. So the admin side of things, same credentials. So here I am on the Windows desktop. And we can do two things to check here. So first of all, we'll open up a browser. All I need to do now is simply type in teams.microsoft.com and do that correctly. And what it will bring me to is the browser access to so the WebRTC version of Microsoft Teams. All I need to now simply do is type in my credentials. So Handy enough, I've got a one called Teams MFA because I know I have multi-factor authentication enabled on this account. And this could be the whole reason why you are seeing this issue. Here we go, approve sign-in request. So this account has multi-factor authentication enabled which the Microsoft Teams room does not support. It supports a modern authentication. You must disable MFA, whether it's through a conditional access policy or going to that user account and removing the MFA. If I now approve this on my device, then this will show you that, yes, it works fine. The account is working, but obviously this pop-up doesn't appear on the Microsoft Teams room interface. It's not supported. You must use a device with uh, MFA disabled. So that's great because again, if you've got a shared meeting space, no one wants this approval request on their mobile device or mobile app at 3 a.m. in the morning. You must have an account that can log in at all times and using modern auth, token based. Uh, so here we go. We have successfully logged into Teams. So we know Teams is working. So another good test. So let me just sign out of here is actually to use the Exchange Online as well. I've been able to log into outlook.office.com. So now we've done that. Let's just close that and reopen it again. And we will go to, actually we'll go to portal.office.com because again, you can also see the license assigned to this account here. Oh, I can log in with the same account. And this is another good test to see what license has been assigned to this device. So the, the meeting room account. A lot of people will say, yes, I've given it Skype, I've given it Teams, it's got Exchange, it's got an E3, all the features are enabled. However, this will tell you exactly what is enabled on the portal. So you go to the users and go to uh, my account and then you go to subscriptions here on the left hand side. You can see that I have Teams exploratory account. So this is because it's a new account. You get all these features to try and test with from day one. It's got everything on there. What you've got to ensure is obviously it's got a Teams license. There we have it. There's a simple troubleshooting tip on, on how to do this. Now, if I was to show you a, an account that doesn't have MFA, and how it should work. These accounts have modern auth enabled. Simply open up my browser again, and this time we can go to outlook.office.com so we can look at the calendar. And I will now sign in with an account that doesn't have MFA. And this is what you should expect to see on a Microsoft Teams room. It will log in, ask for your password, and there we are, we are straight in. We are into the, into the system. And again, the key thing you want to check is to make sure your calendar is available and you can see that. So that is great that we can see that. Once we're finished, we can then sign out of the device uh, from this account. Go back to the room account. Let's just sign out. And we're going to sign back into the uh, Skype account, which is the, the, the Microsoft Teams room account. Remember, it's local. So, so here's our splash screen. We know it's starting. What we can do now is jump into the settings and actually input the correct account. So I go to my account and I put in the correct account that I know that will work and I'm using modern authentication. I hit save and exit and this will now refresh and try and sign in. It will sign into Exchange, Teams, Skype 
there we go so a new meeting I'm able to do a new teams meeting into URI I'm able to do a Skype meeting or a federated via Skype for example to another platform my system is ready to make calls successfully signed in using the set correct setup on the account thanks for watching any questions please feel free to ask me drop in the comments below thanks bye